What's up loves, it's your girl April. So I'm back to do just an update on this hair from Sunlight. It was 220 inches, an 18, 16, and a 14 inch um, closure. Now, first of all, let's just talk about it was loose wave, um, and I'm not sure if you guys have seen the initial video, but this was supposed to be loose wave hair. Um, when I got it, it did look loose wave, you know, that's prior to me washing it. So when I made it on the wig cap, and then I washed it, and I hung it upside down for it to dry, just so that more waves can form into the hair if you leave it upside down to dry. When it was um, just fully dry, the waves were really not there. Um, especially if it was supposed to be a loose wave. To me, it just more or less resembled like body wave hair. It really wasn't uniformed waves at all. It was more or less some waves, some straight, some limp. So it wasn't like how I expected it. But for the most part, I did wear the wig a few times and it held up. Every wig that I wear, it seems like it does not matter how good the quality of the hair is. I don't care if it's a synthetic wig, a wig that I made, a lace front, a full lace, a glueless, um, a 360. They always seem to just, you know, um, tangle up in the nape area. So I really don't judge a wig on its tangling in the nape area because no matter how good the hair is, like I said, it's just going to uh, tangle up. There are some that do, do tangle up a whole lot worse than others. So that I would take into consideration, but for the most part, this was just like an untangle in the nape area that I could just deal with. At the end of the day, I would just take either this comb right here or my favorite brush and I would brush it out and it would be fine, you know what I mean? Nothing major to where I was like really, really combing it out and it was shed because I've had some like that, but this one, just a couple of strokes of the brush and it was good. The, the tangles were just removed quite easily. So, for the price, the hair is super affordable. You know, everything on AliExpress is affordable from hair, makeup, clothes, whatever. You just have to read reviews and just look at what they have to offer. Check out their score, how long they've been selling. If you can find some videos that are biased, then check those out. But yes, for the most part, the hair held up. And I did do a video for them like a couple of years ago, um, which was also on a loose wavy. The hair was more or less drier than this, so to me, I think that their quality of hair did improve a lot from the first time that I reviewed for them, so I am very impressed. I'm glad that their hair improved. So like on a scale of a 1 to 10, what would I give them? Well, being that the hair did not come out loose wavy like I would have liked it to, and even though it didn't come out to that, I'm still going to give them like a 9 to a 9.5 because the hair luster is gorgeous. Like This is like some beautiful, lustrous hair, not too shiny because I hate when it's like really shiny and then you're like oh my god girl I look like I'm about to just fry some chicken on my head and then I don't like it very low luster because then it's like girl you better get yourself a can of oil sheen and oil that baby down so <laughs> I'm gonna give it like a nine because of the quality of the hair even though it didn't loose up or loose wave up it still is good quality hair so yes you guys I hope you enjoyed this update I will see you on a soon to come video let me know what you think you can always check out my website going with the wind wigs .com. so I love you guys stay diva and divalicious make sure you rate comment subscribe and I'll see you in a soon to come video